In this episode, Ubuntu uses LibreOffice, Totem Plugin gives AirPlay for Linux, and a Jolie Cloud review. You're listening to Linux News Log, separating the Linux and open source signal from the noise, a proud member of techpodcasts.com. Hey everybody, how's it going? I'm your host Adrian, coming to you almost live from lovely Phoenix, Arizona, here in Studio C1. Linux News Log is a proud member of the Tech Podcast Network. If it's tech, it's here. Do feel free to head on over to techpodcast.com and check out all the other technology-related shows over there. This is Season 1 of the, our new 12th season and uh, or I'm sorry episode one of our new 12th season there you go I'm so tired I'm having brain farts um, so uh, let's go ahead and get into the stories for this episode from internet.com in their server watch section Dell joins Novell for Linux appliances what do IBM VMware SAP and Dell have in common they're all using Novell to build Linux appliances. Dell officially announced this week that it is joining the SUSE appliance program. Financial terms of the partnership are not being publicly disclosed. The SUSE Linux appliance program is an extension of the SUSE Studio appliance technology and enables vendors to build and manage their own Linux software appliances. Um, I'm, you know, a huge advocate of Linux appliances. If, if you want something that's relatively easy to use, uh, you know, the Linux appliance market is, is pretty nice for that sort of thing. So, uh, you know, you get basic functionality for stuff that you got to have and, you know, it's pretty much install it as long as you've got compatible hardware, it works. From Information Week, Ubuntu ditches OpenOffice for LibreOffice. Uh, when it becomes available in April, Ubuntu will include the Document Foundation's LibreOffice, not Oracle OpenOffice, as its Office Suite. This is actually pretty big news. Uh, previously, the popular Linux distribution used OpenOffice and continues to tout the features of this application suite on its website. But rumors of a switch began swirling on, in October, a month after the Document Foundation took over development of the newly renamed LibreOffice following Oracle's acquisition of Sun. So uh, this is uh, kind of interesting to see how things shake out. Um, I'm curious to see uh, what will come of it. From TechEye.net, AMD supports OpenGL 4.1 for Windows and Linux. AMD has announced its support for OpenGL 4.1 on Microsoft and Linux platforms in its latest driver release for a number of its graphics cards. The driver release available on the AMD website for the ATI Fire Pro, ATI Fire GL, and AMD Radeon cards will support OpenGL 4.1 for Microsoft's Windows 7, Vista XP, as well as Linux. AMD has a strong tradition of supporting open industry standards, and with the announcement of support for OpenGL 4.1, we continue to demonstrate that commitment, said Janet Matsuda, General Manager, AMD Professional Graphics. So, pretty neat stuff. Uh, check it out by all means. From Hot Hardware, uh, there's a review of Jolie Cloud's uh, cloud-based Linux desktop. Um, this is, uh, you know, one of the multiple uh, reviews out there. It's for Jolie Cloud 1.1. Um, if you want to know more about it, I'm not going to go through all of the details or any of that. But uh, if you want more to work, if you want to know more about it, by all means, uh, check it out. From iSmashPhone.com, Totem Plugin gives Linux users Apple's AirPlay. This is actually pretty big news. Linux users can now beam AirPlay content from their iPad, iPhone, or iPod Touch to their PC via a plugin for Totem Media Player. Now, many of you are saying, why are you including this? We're Linux users. Well, yes, a fair amount of you are, but there's also a big part of my audience that... Uh, downloads my shows uh, via iTunes from my RSS feeds on my website. You know, it's it's undeniable how many of you do that. Over 50% of my audience is from iTunes alone. So um, this is interesting for those of you who want to play around with uh, with Linux and, and AirPlay, but still, you know, have Apple products or use Apple products. So, you know, might be interesting for half my audience at least. From H Online, Oracle releases Update 6 for Oracle Linux 5. Oracle has announced the release of Update 6 for Oracle Enterprise Linux. 
Oracle Enterprise Linux is based on Red Hat's Enterprise Linux with Oracle's own modifications and bug fixes. Surprise, surprise. So anyway, if you're an Oracle Linux user, by all means, uh, go get the update and get her done. That will pretty much do it for this edition of Linux News Log. As always, everything we've talked about is linked up in the show notes. Just visit us, visit us online, quicksurf.com, and uh, you can uh, shoot me an email, linux at quicksurf.com. Please subscribe if you have not already. All of the uh, links are in the show notes. Uh, just visit us on the web, and you can follow me online at twitter.com slash adrian underscore bacon. And with that, I will see all of you on the next episode. I'll see you then. Bye.